It's April 1st. I had to work today. I've been uh, to Buffalo for a little while. It was crazy up there. Um, you know, doing medical transport, you have to use the restroom. Well, guess what? There's not very many restrooms open. You got to be strategic. Found a Walmart. They had uh, half the doors closed down and they had like do not cross the big plastic uh, tape in front of the one door um, and uh, like cattle gate to get you into the single door that they're using. Uh, everybody had masks, everybody had gloves, everybody was staying away from each other. If you got too close, they kind of looked, scowled and moved out of the way. Got out of there as soon as I could. Got home. I was thinking the streams were going to be a little too cloudy, but I drove across the bridge at one of them. It looked pretty good. It might be still a little murky, but I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so I'm laying out all the stuff I'm taking. When I was a kid, you used to take a fishing rod. Hopefully it had all the eyes on it. I think most of them had the tip broken off, but it still worked. Uh, hopefully you had a hook, you know, just one good sharp hook on there, maybe a weight and jump on the bike and head to the stream. And when you got there, you'd uh, flip over some rocks, flip over some logs, find a worm or two and hope for the best. Today, I feel like I'm taking everything but the kitchen sink. This uh, videoing, your hunts and fishing and all that is going to take some extra equipment and extra time. This is uh, just a trial run today, but I've got, this is my table full of goodies. Um, I have a backpack here. Uh, the backpack is something we got a couple years ago and I really like it. I don't really want to get it messed up, um, but today that's the one I'm taking. Uh, we're going to take the GoPro. It's actually downstairs charging back up. This is the case it goes into. I've got a chest strap that I'm going to be wearing with the Go GoPro. I've got some extra batteries in this box for the GoPro. I've got a bunch of accessory pieces in here, a floating um, selfie stick, uh, a regular selfie stick, a bunch of other connectors. There's even a head strap. There's a head strap in there if I want to try that and uh, see how that goes. Uh, I've got some worms here. I actually just had this worm bucket and uh, we picked night crawlers the other night. I've got the bag of salted minnows that I haven't got to make my own yet, so there's that. Uh, I've got some sunglasses, they're polarized. See if that helps. Uh, little tackle box, I think you've seen this before. Um, got a set of fingernail clippers in there to help me uh, clean up after I've tied a knot, if I'm tying new pieces on. I've got that new fancy collapsible minnow trap. I'm going to try to set that tonight to see if uh, I can make some of my own salted minnows. Um, I have the salted minnow rigs here that are going to go with me. I've got my fancy tripod here that will hold the phone for me um, so I can maybe get a different angle. Angle for me fishing at the bank and then angle from the chest camera if I've got if I've hooked one. And I'm going to take my trusty Berkley lightning rod, six foot um, light spinning uh, fishing rod. So that's the gear and I've got my uh, trusty rubber boots on. They are not the muck boots that had holes in them the other day. These I just bought towards the end of deer season. No holes yet. So hopefully I can stay below knee deep in the water and keep some uh, dry feet for the day. I haven't bought hip boots in years. I have some chest waders for duck hunting downstairs, but no hip boots. That might be a purchase here soon, or when it warms up, I can just get wet. And that's the way I like to trout fish is just walk through the stream with an old pair of sneakers on. And if you get too hot, just take a dip. All right. We're going to try this thing out. Hopefully we can catch a few. When I got home today after driving somebody to Buffalo, Joy said I had gotten a box. I received a package from Amazon. I made an order the other day. 
uh, for things for making YouTube videos and trying to make it a little bit easier for me. And I figured I'd unbox it and you can see what I've ordered. So let's check it out. They had already opened it when I got, before I had gotten home. Let's see here. We got this box here. We'll just pop it all out of here. What's that? Okay. First thing in here, which you call a minnow rig, we'll be using that coming up here soon, trout fishing. Uh, it has a wire that you stick through a salted minnow down its mouth and out the back side, and then you hook this hook on it and you pull it a little tight so when you drift the minnow down through it looks like it's just a dead minnow, doesn't have hooks sticking off of it, and it makes a little bit cleaner presentation. I got this here minnow trap. I don't see an easier way to open it, so this is the way I'm going to do it. Looks like it clips to itself here, like so. And the same thing on this side. Ooh, a little spring loaded action. Bam. Look at that. They swim through the little holes and then they try to swim out. Can't do it. And it's got a zipper here to empty them out and it's got this zipper pouch here looks like to hold this maybe you put the maybe it's just to hold that I thought maybe you could put the food in there too but I like it I think it was 10 bucks uh, on one of the reading the description of it and reading you know what people thought about it they really liked it the one person had an issue he had in his pond and he had thrown it down in there it got a lot of uh, minnows in there and then a family of otters saw the minnows in there and they chewed a hole through the side of it and ate the minnows uh, hopefully we don't run into any otters that's pretty cool I might grab a couple more of those once to check out see how well it works Let's them back together here All right, this box. It's a fancy little bag. Pretty sure I know what it is, but you don't yet. So this is a tripod. This is a hook on a piece for a GoPro. This is the piece to hold my phone, I believe. I have to see how it works. Oh, spring loaded open action. And it hooks onto it, screws into the base. Pretty cool. And it can slide open and lock in place. I like that. You know, everybody knows how to use a tripod, I'm sure. Looks like that unscrews. Come on. There we go. That looks pretty stable. And then. Hook the phone onto there. You should see the tripod I'm using now. It's called uh, a whole bunch of stuff stacked on top of each other. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Cool. Uh, and this has got a, I don't know if there's a battery in it. It does. It's got a, I probably have to hook it up to the Bluetooth, but it's Got a thing for the Android to turn the camera on. I don't know if it's just for photos or if it'll work for video too. We'll find that out. This. Ooh. Uh -huh. 
Oh, I don't know what this piece is. Check this out. I'm excited. I couldn't go the newest, newest model. But this is a GoPro Hero 6 Black. I think they're up into the 8 or 9 now. They're like 400. This is uh, what they call a re... What do they call it? Not refurbished. There was nothing wrong with it. Somebody ordered it. And then they sent it back to Amazon. They test it, make sure everything's perfect and new. And uh, and it has all the cables and wires. And you get it for a lot cheaper. It was like $170 instead of $300 and some dollars. And I'm just hoping that it works as good as new. It's got the charger. It's got a little clip here. It's got the battery. And I've got uh, got the extended warranty on it too, just in case. So that's going to be something new for me to learn. And uh, software for it and everything. And this is one last thing. I don't know what this is. A couple things Joy ordered. Man, this sucker is in there. My knife, my knife is one of my pieces of my tripod that I'm uh, currently using. I don't know if this thing has a hint to it. There we go. That's loud. Battery storage and charging box. This is something Joy bought. It was a little, uh, it was for me, for this, but she said she saw something that you could, it's two extra batteries and I think you can charge the box too and it has charging in that so you can store them in there and it'll recharge them. Battery charging box, I don't know. Some of the things that they hook in, and you charge it in there. I don't think this has extra storage where you can put it back in and it'll charge it again. I think this is just where they go. And two batteries, charging box, uh, lens cover, and some lens or screen protectors. Very cool. Um... Yeah, the, the GoPro, the, the black series has the screen so you can see what you're videoing. Um, and it has a little screen on the front too, so you can see both. I think this, the whites or silvers don't have the screens. And there's a, there's a white, there's a silver, and a black, I think. I don't know enough about it to really tell you. Anyhow, I thought I would unbox this to see what it was. And I'm excited. I've got a chest strap and I've got a head strap and I've got a few other things to, to make this work. Uh, April 1st, what, tomorrow, I think, or the next day. Anyways, I think it's tomorrow. I'm gonna be probably getting out there and doing some trout fishing and maybe we'll implement the new equipment. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me while I unbox some of these new toys. And I'll hopefully be putting them to use, and you'll be seeing the, uh, the product of their labor. All right, now back to your regular scheduled program. Well, I'm thinking that it's going to be pretty close over here. Yeah, I'm already up to the darn shins. Uh, I think maybe boots off. Ah, we'll see. On second thought, my lovely chauffeur is going to take me to a safer 
exit area to get to the creek. And then I'll go fishing. I was going to take the boots off and cross, but that stuff's like ice. Nope. Done that before. Well, I'm geared up. Got the GoPro on. Down to the stream. That's really loud, I'm sure. Joy swung me up around the other side. I saw a couple of guys. One had about a 14-inch brown. And the other guy was just hooking a 12-inch brown. He had about a 7-inch rainbow on. Uh, also, I guess he said they told him they uh, had stocked about 1,700 rainbows, which is kind of weird since we pretty much have browns in these streams. But that's what they did. We'll see what we can do. Give it a shot. See if uh, get anything to hit. Working my way from the Canisterra Creek and up Slater Creek. I haven't fished up through here in who knows how long. Ten years, maybe? I'm crunching through a whole bunch of these weeds, though. It's probably nice and loud. Everybody's fishing the main areas. and Well, I don't like to be right on top of people and most people don't come off the beaten path so Woo. it's a little deeper than I want to go Felt like something. How are we gonna get across there? Don't 
stuck in too deep. Oh, that's real close. There. Up on. There we go. Let's see what we can do. Nobody's even following it. Well, I haven't seen any people tracks down through here. Which really hasn't done me any good that nobody's been down here because there's probably a reason. They probably decided that there's not very many holes down through here. I just feel like there's going to be one spot that I can catch a fish. Just the hope that there's one, well, at least one. A lot of down trees, man. Oh. I got a ways to go though from where I where I parked, so I'm hopeful. It's just hard to get into them spots with all those branches. Just a little bit of weight here. the right cast in there. That's the question.
Well, I've been walking up this stream and I really haven't had any luck yet. Uh, found a couple holes that look good. Made some good casts, some questionable casts. A little rusty maybe. I should have just went and fished right with those other guys. They were catching all those seven to eight inch rainbows. But I thought, well, let's go somewhere where nobody's been for a while and uh, maybe get into a good one. I guess uh, the stream has changed a lot since I'd fished it the last time. My dad brought me up here when I was a kid and I fished it a few, quite a few times after that, but he grew up fishing this stream. And uh, so he brought myself and my sister Naomi up here. And I remember it was one of the times where I think I got really mad <laughs> about going fishing. Uh, and I don't know if Naomi remembers it or not. And I don't think dad does because I said something to him. But I remember her catching a really nice one. And dad and I used to just fish together. Nobody else really wanted to go, but she showed interest that day. And uh, so we brought her and it was one of those, why'd you bring her kind of thing? And we'd usually fish like when it was dad and I, he'd get the next hole, I'd get the next hole, he'd get the next hole. And I don't know what it was about that one. If it was, you know, me, then dad, then Naomi, then me, then dad, then Naomi. But all I remember is she she caught a nice one. And I don't know if it was supposed to have been my turn or, or if I was just mad because she caught a nice one and I didn't catch anything or, or didn't catch a very nice one. I was pretty young. And uh, now that I think about it, it's just really cool that she went with us because a lot of times it was dad and I doing those things and my sister's not always uh, in, including themselves they weren't interested or or what the what the reason was but so it was nice to that she did go with us up Slater Creek and caught I don't know it must have been a 18 or 20 inch brown trout in one of those holes and uh, it was pretty awesome. Hopefully she remembers it and hopefully she doesn't remember me being a brat about it. <laughs> if nothing else it's a, a pretty walk down up the stream but this is all just flat and about four to six inches deep and not a whole lot of reason for a trout to be sitting in there. Nothing deep, nothing cut out. And I've been doing this for a little while now. Thankful for the, the knee high boots or the calf high boots or whatever they're called. They're not quite up to my knee. In the summertime, I'd just be in sneakers, and that'd be nice, but right now this water's chilly. Not too far before I get to my vehicle. I don't know if we'll see another hole or not. I feel like the fishing was a bust. Trying to get this ending video done and Brenna wants to just say no in it. So I don't know what that's about. But we're gonna play some cards and do some family time here. And I just wanted to throw a little video in there of going fishing, trying out the GoPro. Got some GoPro footage, got some phone footage, mixing them together. So if you think one picture looks better than the other, that's why. Uh, the the microphone on the GoPro was doing um, 
switching back and forth from wind and something else, I think is what it does. So sometimes it would go quiet and sometimes it would be loud. So I gotta figure that out. Uh, and I also have to figure out where the fish are because I wasn't catching any. Uh, and I've learned that when I'm fishing, I, I guess I can't fish and talk at the same time. So I'm looking at the next place and I'm trying to cast and I'm trying to be quiet. So it's like a silent film, except for me saying, man, I can't believe I didn't catch one there or whatever else I was saying. Um, I guess tonight was, we were supposed to light a candle for in support of medical um, professionals, nurses and doctors that are out there on the front lines. So we put a, a light out in our driveway. We did a heart with, uh, with candles and the girls, Joy and the girls drove around town to see if they could find any more. And I guess uh, there was maybe two other spots in town that had them. So maybe people didn't know that it was a thing or they didn't think about it. But hopefully, uh, you know, I'm sure everybody is thankful for the medical professionals and uh, what they're doing and trying to keep people safe and keep people alive. Uh, just want to thank everybody for watching the video. And um, hopefully we start learning the, how to use the GoPro and how to catch fish. <laughs> because I'm thinking the next few videos are going to be me trying to do that. Uh, tomorrow's video is going to be a little bit about honey though. Uh, we're going to be bottling some honey. I uh, just had a gentleman call me and say, Hey, do you have any honey left over? Because I want a gallon. So he's going to bring his own jar and we're going to fill that up. And I'm going to fill up... Uh, some quart jars and some other bottles um, out of a five gallon pail that we had that was crystallized that we just decrystallized. Well, that's about it. I hope you guys are having a great uh, night, a good, good week, and a great time with family while we're uh, all kind of uh, locked up at the houses. It's tough, but we're trying to get through it and uh, hopefully Y'all are doing well. Um, just, uh, just know that you're not alone and that everybody else is going through the same thing you are. And we'll get through this. We love you. God loves you. And God bless you. You have a great night. We'll see you next time.